So today we're going to look at how you can put quick access folders on the left hand side of any Explorer window in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, we're going to look at how you can put quick access folders on the left hand side of any Explorer window. This is handy if you want to be able to have basically quick access to a certain folder. So say, for instance, I wanted quick access to the form folder which is normally in documents there, but I could be in any other folder. I want to quickly get to it. So I just click on forms on the left and it takes me straight into that forms folder, which is the folder just here in documents. So it's a bit of a shortcut to it. So how do we set this up? So all we do, let's just find the folder that we want to pin to the left hand side, to the quick access bar just here. So. If it was the forms folder, then I just move my mouse over forms, click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. And then left click pin to quick access. And as you'll see, there you go. It pins it straight to quick access. Now, Windows 10 and 11 sometimes will automatically add folders to the quick access uh, bar just there on the left folders that it thinks you use regular but you might think to yourself no I don't want those folders there I mean quite often you might see a folder like the system 32 folder may well appear on the left hand side this is where you're perhaps installing or uninstalling programs and the computers access those programs to install or modify files within the system 32 directory or folder now the system 32 folder is a folder that really you shouldn't be accessing. There's lots of files and folders in here which are crucial for the system to function correctly. And if you start deleting files and folders in here, then you're going to screw up Windows. You're going to stop it from booting. So you really don't want that sh shoved in the quick access. So how do you get rid of a folder from quick access? Well, all you do is just move your mouse over the folder in the quick access bar just over there on the left click the right mouse button the button on the right hand side of the mouse not the left and then go up to unpin from quick access left click once and there you go it disappears and you can do that for any of these folders here so let's do it for sound recordings so right click on sound recordings left click unpin from quick access and there you go it disappears. It's obviously a good idea to perhaps leave these folders. These are standard folders in quick access. That's downloads, desktop, documents, pictures, music, and videos. These are user folders that you would normally, or the system would normally put files in. So it would normally put icons on your desktop. Anything you download from the internet will go in the downloads folder. Your documents like your Word documents, your Excel documents will go in the documents folder. Any photos would go in the pictures section there. Any music will go in music and any videos would go in the videos folder. So it's a good idea to keep those there. So there you go. I hope this guide helped. And if it did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, have a look in the description down below. We've got loads of great links down there for you. Have a look through my Amazon shop. There's a link down there for that. Or if you're in the market for a VPN, Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire stick accessories, we've got loads of great links down there for you too. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And whilst you're looking through these videos, if you see anything you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might be interested in, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. If you want to check me out on X, formerly known as Twitter, I'm at 
C-W-T-E-K. Or if you want to check out the great stuff on my website, again, it's cwtek.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching and speak to you again soon.